Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Mm. Well, today is International Coffee Day. So I grabbed my cup of coffee um, and I thought, why not we all share a cup of coffee together? So do you have your cup of coffee? Today we're going to be talking about um, self-actualization, we're going to be talking about breakthrough, um, and I might even do a little bit of a uh, hypnosis, a guided visualization, so you can relax and enjoy this session. I have uh, clients asking me, um, I got messages and everything, and Someone was asking me, how come you're not doing any more guided visualization? Because apparently they love listening to it and going into a profound, deep relaxation. And I thought, you know what? Maybe today I will. Um, did you know that coffee is a stimulant? So is alcohol. So is cigarettes. So in actuality, these do not relax us but stimulate um, our body. Hmm. What a concept. We think it's relaxing us. We think if I have a glass of wine, I'm going to feel so relaxed with a cigarette in my hand. But all that is a perception. So welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist. Before I go further, I've been told I have to do this. So I'm going to do this. Um, I'm learning how to become more profound and in sync and precise in my Heal Talk Tuesdays. So I've been told to say, text breakthrough to 818-221-2797. And I want you to subscribe right here. Awesome. Mona says, awesome. Hello, Mona. It's so good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, so go ahead and subscribe below. And if you want more information, I want you to sign up. Guess what? October 4th, Sunday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I'm having a webinar for only $27. We're having a 90-minute webinar on um, breaking through. So what's going to happen on Sunday in that 90-minute uh, webinar, it's called Breakthrough uh, Barriers. And we're going to learn, actually not we, I'm going to teach you tools and techniques, how to overcome barriers. You're going to break down and find out if you have any barriers standing in your way, sometimes consciously or subconsciously, and recognize them. It's only by evoking about the things that are challenging us, stopping in our way, that we can break them down, eliminate them, or get rid of them completely in order for us to evolve. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to evoke the things that have been standing in your way so that you can embrace the reality, which is right here, right now, the challenges that you are facing in order for you to evolve to what it is that you want, right? So that's one. In my book, did you know I have three books in my book, Heal Thy Mind Body? There is a chapter called Self-Actualization. Actually, in here, it says, discover your recurring patterns. And as I was thinking, how apropos it is for us to go over this right now, which is do this exercise and you must find yourself in a quiet place and gather your thoughts and feelings. Get a piece of paper and a pen and sit down, clear your mind. And remember that being honest and true to yourself is the only way to start knowing what you are to do in life. 
You see, just like the perception of the cigarettes and alcohol and coffee, thinking that it relaxes us, you know, how many of that relaxes you? Is one cigarette relaxing you? A pack? One drink? A whole six pack of beer? One cup of coffee? How many cups of coffee do you drink a day? So today being International Coffee Day, it's recognizing that sometimes we do so much because it's become a habit, not necessarily that we do it on purpose. So what creates a habit? It's when we do something over and over, over and over until it becomes something that we do unconsciously. It becomes automatic. And when it becomes automatic, it bypasses habit and it becomes a part of our behavior. And it can be from communication. It could be from smoking, drinking, eating, right? And those, after a while, coffee, when it gives you palpitation, when caffeine affects your, uh, if you have a high blood sugar, if you have uh, blood pressure, if you have palpitation, if you feel your mind is foggy and all that, then caffeine is going against it. Cigarettes in a way, they become toxic after that social smoking that you go once in a while, you feel like socializing and you pick up a cigarette and you socialize with your friends with a drink uh, at a party. And when it becomes a pack a day, it's already bypassed a habit. Because it becomes a part of your being and every single day that becomes a barrier. Now, what part becomes a barrier? It's not relaxing you anymore, right? And if you know someone who's constantly doing the same thing over and over, and someone said, what about cigars? Most people don't smoke 12 to 12 or 20 cigars a day. But most who smoke cigarettes do smoke a pack a day or 10 a day, right? Um, there's a lot of people who have about four cups of coffee a day. I know someone who used to go and right off, uh, once she got out of the house on the way to work, she would stop at a Starbucks, get her coffee, get to work. By 10 o'clock, they served coffee at the lunch, uh, at the, so she would take her break and go to the lunchroom, grab a cup of coffee, lunchtime cup of coffee, break time cup of coffee, on the way home, stop at Starbucks, get another cup of coffee. Oh my God. Five to six cups of coffee. And you know, Starbucks is a powerful coffee. It's strong. Well, being Armenian, we have our Armenian coffee. That is strong also. So because it's this small, we think it does not affect us. But coffee is coffee. Why am I talking about coffee? Because it's International Coffee Day. It's not about that. It's what we do as a become, we become creatures of habit. And it goes the same way for relationships. We go from one bad relationship to another relationship. We just change the person but we go after the same patterns until we recognize that pattern, that relationship is toxic. The cigarettes are toxic to the body. 
the coffee more than two cups a day for some people, it becomes toxic to your body. Why? It's stimulating your body. Coffee, and then cigarette, and then you go and put alcohol at night, and you're constantly on this kind of a vibration. And you think I'm gonna go sleep? Why can't I sleep so well? I do my affirmations, I listen to classical music, and yet I cannot sleep. I have palpitation, I have heart murmur, my blood pressure is up, my sugar is high. Every single thing affects me. From toxic relationships to what kind of a toxic toxicity you put inside your body. So let me turn one thing around. One of my clients goes to the gym an hour and a half to two hours a day for five, four days a week, sometimes five. And then I want to see if you or someone you know can relate to this. And if you do, just go hashtag one. You you know of someone, or maybe you've done it without realizing. So you go exercise, you do your walks, you put your 6,000, 7,000 steps, and then you have 10 cigarettes or two, three glasses of wine at night. And I'm not saying wine is bad, I'm just saying habits. And then you turn around and say, why, whatever. So the barrier in itself is not the coffee itself, because the coffee does not make itself and come into your body. It's the patterns that we have created thinking, I am healthy as long as I am exercising. It's okay for me to do this. And if we turn it around, look from the inside out, and if the body could speak, what would your body say to you? What would your body say to you? I'm happy that we go exercise and we play and we're all toned and here, I get stuffed with food. I get stuffed with toxicity and or vaping. So many people think if I'm vaping, I'm not smoking. What barriers? What are the challenges that you are facing that you think without this, I cannot do X, Y, Z. In life, I too have uh, faced so many challenges. And breaking through barriers is eliminating the blocks that limit your ability to achieve your desired goal. And there's a famous quote by Frank Clark, and it says, if you can find a path with no obstacles, it probably doesn't lead you anywhere because we're constantly bombarded with challenges in life and obstacles because that is life, right? Now, when you go into hypnosis, when I take my client into a deep and profound state of hypnosis and we bypass the critical analyzing challenging uh, reasoning judging conscious mind and delve deeper and bypass that critical factor to go into our subconscious mind where the subconscious mind does everything you ask it to and you ask your body that from this day forward, this is what I choose. This is what I desire. This is what I want to create. 
And before you even do that is to evoke the barriers and recognize as I was doing this, this is how I feel. And look at the obstacles. Every, another client says, Lisa, I want to have sessions with you. I need to lose all this weight. I have gained over 20 pounds during COVID. And I just don't like myself. I look myself in the mirror and I just can't stand looking at my body. So every single day, I no longer look myself in the mirror. I feel disgusting about my own body. And it's just committing to you, doing the sessions with you. It's just finding the time to commit your, to you. And I said, you know what? This commitment is not to me. It's not. I'm only a coach and I hold space for you. My expertise is to recognize and recognize and be the coach so I can break down the challenges you're having so we can easily recognize it. And once you recognize it, you can say, I want this and I no longer choose to have this. I am ready to let go of this in order for me to have this. And sometimes by going into hypnosis, your subconscious mind gives you information that consciously you have either bypassed it or the barrier is there to protect you in order for you to live the life right now. You see, there is no way that you can be in a toxic relationship and then think that what you are eating, what, you, what's, what you're stuffing in your body is not toxic because your surrounding is toxic. And as we were talking about it, and she said, I've been stuffing and I know um, it's so toxic. And I said, knowing her relationship, and I said, but there is so much of that. And she said, I know, I know, but that I can't do anything. My body, I can't do anything. I need you to help me do something. It is not. We are just like the hand. A part of your hand is every part of your fingers. And it doesn't matter if it is a cigarette, if it's a coffee, all those things that come from the outside, you put it in your body to stuff emotions to say i'm putting all that i'm stuffing it underneath um you know what the clutter in my house the clutter in my bedroom i'm putting it under my bed i'm pushing it shoving it in the closet so you don't see it when you come in in a way it's us being untrue to ourselves so when we are breaking through barriers, the barriers that we placed for us, by us, in order for us to stuff something else. By evoking it, you're only doing you good, not me. Her commitment is never to me, it's our commitment to ourselves and what is it that we want. So if I want my business to take off and quadruple my business, I have to do certain things. And if one of the barriers is that I have not looked at my business and I'm not raw there, then let's do that. I have to become so true of all the mistakes that I am doing in order for me to take the next level. And by doing so, I need a coach, I need a CPA, I need an assistant, everything. 
we cannot build a house without a contractor, without an engineer, without an architect, without the city giving us a, a permit, unless you do something. And then they come and fine you because you didn't get the permit. And that's the same thing about us. If we want to bypass things, we can. Most of us do. So we smoke to relax, to feel calm, or have a buddy system. We eat, overeat, because we feel a void and we constantly feel like if I, if I can just stuff myself more, if I eat fast, then that has also become a habit and eating fast is also not good for your digestive tract. So from our environment at home, from our environment within, when we have this mind-body connection of appreciating and accepting this body for what it is, having a cup of coffee, I do. I do have two cups of coffee a day. And if I feel my heart palpitating, then I become kinder to my body and I have a bottle of water. So learning to be kind, kinder to yourself and leave the past behind and choose to change for the better, becoming the success you strive to be. So here's the questions in this book, and perhaps you can do this on your own. Grab whatever it is that you'd like, either a glass of orange juice, a glass of water, a cup of coffee, decaf, and sit back and think, what thoughts of mine have contributed to where my life is today? You know, that's such a profound question for us to sit down and say everything that has happened, I had a hand in it. Everything that has happened, I had a choice. And recognize your choices taking ownership. And the second question, what new ways can I think in order to shift my life to what I desire to be? So whatever you did until now, if you say it was not my fault, it was not my doing, what can you do from today on? What ownership can you take today? And it can be from the habits. List all your habits, right? And see what can you eliminate that is no longer worthy of you or what you want to create. Another question, how will reaching my goals change my life? How will it change your life? Will your life be better? Will it be more challenging? Are you ready to face that challenge? Are you ready to break that barrier in order for you to be the best version of you? What you want to create? And lastly, what are your strengths and how can your strengths, either from being a little child that wants to play, that wants to create, if you could open that Pandora's box of gift and creativity in you and say, hmm, how can I bring that part of me to help me move forward in life? And lastly, say these affirmations. I am now willing to release the patterns within me that created this condition and move forward to the next level. And drink a toast to yourself. Again, if you want to join me this coming Sunday, October 4th, for a group webinar for $27, only we are going to be together for an hour 
and a half and sometimes more bring because you know it's always more than that the synergy that it's created the energy of group the energy of coming together just go ahead and text 818-221-2797 and I and go ahead and sign up join us this Sunday right before dinner time and recognize the best gifts that you have and you perhaps you have not recognized so take a break and uh, let me know what I can help you with every single day in every way I want you to empower yourself and recognize that how we go from pain to gain is nothing but the first thought that one thought actually that's how we heal with it we say I am ready I matter So this client, she became a client and she said, you are right. The commitment is not to you, it's to myself. It's to me. Because no matter where we go, we have to be happy with ourselves. And if you have a few moments Please go ahead and close your eyes for just a moment. And as you breathe in, bringing oxygen and vitality inside your body, allow it to linger and as you exhale, release and let go of all tension, worries, doubt, barriers, and blames. Just imagine every thought, every idea, every concept, every image, every shape, every color that comes into your mind. Just allow it to go. Let it come, linger, And release and as you are listening to the sound of my voice with your eyes closed for duration of this relaxation validate every essence of who you are perhaps from the time that you can remember as being a toddler as a little girl or a boy. Perhaps when you were in elementary school. When you were a teenager. And as you grew to be who you are today. And I say grew, that means your body, how you blossom, and who you have become today. And as you grow, recognizing so many obstacles and challenges that you have overcome already. being grateful to this incredible body of yours from the top of your head all the way down and again if there is anything that you have shouldered or has been placed upon you that has weighed you down either knowingly or unknowingly just imagine that you can just brush it off and swipe it down, letting it go. 
or you can just shake your fingers and release that energy and let it go. Right. Recognizing how wonderful it feels to knowingly release and let go of all the things you no longer want. You no longer want to carry it on your body, to hold on to it emotionally, physically, nor even mentally, all the toxic thoughts, negative thoughts. Just let it go. Because the only person who can is you. So as you release it, breathe through it, bringing vitality, joy, prosperity, and abundance that surrounds you. And as you exhale, you release and let go of pain, blame, hurt, barriers. Feeling lighter. Feeling better. And knowing that each and every day you can take only three minutes a day and by closing your eyes and becoming one with your inner self and smiling, bringing this little joy of playfulness and oneness, you validate you. It is a part of gratefulness that if you can be grateful to yourself, to this body and your sound mind and loving heart, you've already set a mo into motion a new habit of love, kindness, and abundance three minutes a day, every day, you evoke, you embrace, and you evolve because you matter. And for this, I thank you for being a part of me, part of, not me, today's session. So here's cheers to you. This is Lisa. And remember to heal within your only one thought away from going from pain to gain and transforming to what it is that you wish. If you want to join us on October 4th, by all means, just text 818-221-2797, sign up, and I look forward to seeing you Sunday. And incredible things coming up in October. But until then, I'm going to keep you mesmerized. This is Lisa. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, tune in.